Okay, today we're going to talk about the indefinite pronouns to complete the lesson number one of grammar. We were talking about the countable and uncountable things, the countable nouns, uncountable nouns, the expression of quantity, a lot, a little, a few, some, and now we're going to talk about the indefinite pronoun. We are on the page 123. Here we can see the use of the indefinite pronoun. Use indefinite pronouns to talk about people, things, or places that are not specific. For example, I have something small for lunch since I'm not usually hungry. After she made the cake, there was flow everywhere. Nobody wants to help clean up. And we aren't going anywhere this week. Okay? This is the use of the indefinite pronoun. Now we want to see the form of the indefinite pronoun. The, in affirmative sentences, we have for people, we use somebody, everybody, and nobody. If you can see, we always going to ask the word body at the end, we are talking about people. We are, we are we are talking about things. We use something, everything, and nothing. We want to add the word thin at the end to express about thin. And to talk about places, we're going to add the word where. For example, somewhere, everywhere, and nowhere, okay? Aquí lo tenemos en la, para las, las oraciones afirmativas. Cuando nos referimos a personas, utilizamos el body, que sería somebody, alguien, everybody, todo el mundo, o nobody, nadie. Cuando nos referimos a cosas, a objetos, entonces agregamos lo que sería thing, something, alguna cosa, everything, cualquiera cosa o toda cosa, and nothing. Nada, ninguna cosa. Y cuando estamos hablando de lugares, de places, entonces utilizamos lo que vendría siendo where, donde, somewhere, en algún lugar, everywhere, en todos los lugares, or nowhere, en ningún lugar. Here we have some examples. You see ending body with people. You see ending thing with objects. You see ending where with places. You can also use one with people, for example, someone, everyone, and no one. Aparte de body, también podemos utilizar, eh, el, agregarle el one para referirnos a personas, como por ejemplo, someone, everyone, and no one. Okay? Eh, for example, no one likes weight. Someone ate the last cookie. Now the negative sentences and questions. We use for people, anybody and anyone. We use for things, anything. And we use for places, anywhere. Este sería en el caso de oraciones negativas y de preguntas. Anybody and anyone para personas. Anything para cosas, objetos. And anywhere para lugar. Okay? Continuamos en la parte de abajo, dice, use anybody, anyone, anything, anywhere in negative sentences. For example, I don't know anyone who likes espinal. I can find the receipt anywhere. Use anybody, anything, anywhere in question if you don't know, if you don't, is there anything to eat? If you don't know if the same person or place exists, sorry. Use anybody, anything, and anywhere in the question if you don't know if the same person or place exists. For example, is there anything to it? Okay. And the wash of we have indefinite pronouns use a singular verb. For example, everyone knows the answer. Los pronombres indefinidos usan el verbo de manera singular. O sea, manera singular es cuando nos referimos a una sola cosa. Aquí vemos el ejemplo, everyone knows the answer. Okay? 